from the Boston Museum of Science. SciTech Today on NECN. In SciTech Today, the story of a scientist and the unlikely link between the face of our new president, Barack Obama, and nanotechnology. Nanotechnology, of course, is the study and control of matter at the very basic atomic and molecular scale. Tim Miller joins us now live from the Museum of Science to talk a little more about that. Thanks for joining us, Tim. Thanks for having me, Chet. Hey, but that seems like an unlikely pairing. What's the connection here between the face of President Obama and nanotechnology? So what happened was last spring, a nanotechnology researcher at the University of Michigan got the idea to take Stephen Ferry's well-known image of Barack Obama uh, and grow a very tiny version of it out of uh, millions of carbon nanotubes. Now he did this as kind of a lark, but he put it on the internet and it went viral and has now been seen by tens of thousands of people, both online and in print. Now, th th these things are awfully small. How could anybody see the image he made? Yeah, that's a great question. So the researcher's name is Dr. John Hart. He's an assistant professor of mechanical engineering at the University of Michigan. Uh, and what he did was he was able to etch this image on a very, very uh, tiny metal substrate and then grow, as I said, hundreds of millions of carbon nanotubes up off of that substrate. Uh, so each of those faces is actually less than half a millimeter across. Wow. So these... Uh Nanobama pictures, as you call them, how wide are they? Uh, so as I said, they're, each of them are about uh, half a millimeter across, and they're actually uh, grown in a special furnace. You place that uh, metal image into a, a very high temperature, about a thousand degree furnace, and then spray a hydrocarbon gas, and the um, material grows up off of the surface. So we're looking at them here under very high magnification. And how tall would these, uh, would these be? Well, so if uh, we could shrink ourselves down to the nanoscale uh, on the scale of, of these tubes, uh, if you imagine that the, the tube it, itself, instead of being just a few nanometers across, was about a foot in diameter, uh, like this model of the nanotube uh, that I'm holding here, uh, at that scale they would be incredibly tall, and they would seem to grow incredibly fast. They would grow uh, straight up out of the ground, higher than the tallest building or higher than the height at which uh, a 747 flies. Uh, we're talking about up to 10 miles into the atmosphere uh, and even beyond. So tall and thin would be a pretty good description. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, th there's, a, there's a lot of potential in nanotechnology, so how come so much time was spent on this art project? <laughs> well, that's a great question. Obviously, the researcher's uh, study is all about the growth of these materials. Uh, and he did this, uh, as I said, sort of as a lark because he had some extra space on one of his research chips. But he's really interested in the material itself. Carbon nanotubes are extremely light, extremely strong, and extremely flexible. They might be useful for making materials that are also strong, light, and flexible. They're also hollow, so we might be able to use them to filter impurities out of water, for example. They conduct electricity, so we might be able to use them to make electronics. They have a long, ho a long list of po possible applications, uh, including green energy technologies, uh, medicine, and healthcare. Do we have any idea uh, what the Obama administration is going to do relative to this new uh, nanotechnology? Science and technology watchdogs are pretty optimistic about the Obama administration. Uh, in particular, they're optimistic about the appointment of leading physicist Stephen Chu to head the Department of Energy. Uh, and nanotechnology has lots of potential applications in green energy technologies, including the improvement of solar cells uh, and even battery technology. Any idea what the president uh, thinks about the image of his face? <laughs> so far, Chet, the White House has had no comment. All right, now if anybody would like to see more about that, there is a website, right? Uh, that's absolutely right. You can see the images uh, of these faces at nanobama.com. The take home message here is this science might be very small, but it could have huge implications. Very interesting. Thanks, Tim Miller. Thanks for sharing the story about nanotechnology as we shed light on this area of research live from the Museum of Science in Boston. You can watch SciTech Today every Wednesday on Newsday Live at 5.30 and Thursday mornings at 9.30 here on NECN. Tomorrow morning, getting the lead out, the LED out, how nanotechnology could help fight lead poisoning.